Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. At the end of the last episode, I mentioned I was probably going to head straight to this district and follow up on some quests over here, but I think I've changed my mind depending on where this quest, or rather this point of interest leads. Rumors of a cult, and it points me down into, I believe, that's the sewers, right? Yeah. So I do want to go back into the sewers and explore that area that's behind the, the gas that I wasn't able to go through a while ago because I didn't have the rebreather augment. So I want to check that out. I'm thinking maybe something about the cult will be down there. And right before doing that, I also want to go to Swabity Beer. Or Swobody. Swabity? I don't know. <laughs> Swabity sounds nice. Uh, I want to speak with this person because originally when I came to them, they wanted to offer me something special, something other than just alcohol. But I needed neuropazine, and I didn't have any at the time. Now I do, so let's see what they're offering. Hello again. What? I got some neuropazine for you. Thank you. I can't tell you how much this means. These are tough times. We all have to do what we can. You understand. That's... You have no idea how many people just look the other way. But we can't afford to. Not Augs, and not anyone else. What happens to one happens to all of us. The neuropazine isn't even for you, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm what you might call a... Well, I think of myself as a Samaritan smuggler. I get things for people in need. I'm glad I could help. Listen, I can't let you leave without thanking you properly. I store a few supplies in the basement. The code to the door is 1015. Help yourself to what's down there. Thanks. Don't mention it. Like you said, we all need to help each other. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Let's see those odds and ends you have for sale. First aid pack? Huh. Never seen one of those before. Is that just like a max heal? I guess, should I grab one? Yeah, yeah, let's grab one. You can't go wrong with that. I'm good for now. As you wish. Yeah, I didn't realize I was just actually helping them out, which is perfectly fine, I'd love to do that. What, what did I just see? I just saw something very strange. Like something got put on the countertop and then just like slipped off the counter into the ground and disappeared. I don't know what I saw. Anyway, what is this med kit? Where is this med kit? I don't see it. Maybe that's why I've never seen a med kit before. They don't actually exist. I think it just gave me spare parts or something. Huh. <laughs> cool little lounge down here. Actually, this isn't really a lounge. This is just an entirely, an entire other bar in the basement. It's like as big as the one upstairs. Three decades, fall of an empire. For the last 250 years, the United States of America has flourished, often growing by leaps and bounds, sometimes at a more leisurely pace. In a finite world, that growth may ultimately lead to its demise. Bloated government, bloated population, bloated populace, whispers of discontent with the federal government and its power over constituent states discrepancies in interpretation of the Constitution and continuing struggles in the global marketplace against the economic power of the Chinese bloc. All this has led to a crisis point, or crisis point rather. The next three decades will not see the complete dissolution of the United States, but there are strong rumblings that some states will secede from the Union. 
Already militias have established footholds in state and local government in the northwest states, as well as in Nevada, Arizona, and Texas. It seems likely that this is the last gasp of a dying empire and that a second American Civil War could be just around the corner. Shipment problems. Teresa. Manny's really nervous about the latest shipment and starting to say he wants out. There's not a lot I can say to make him feel better unless you go back to the usual schedule. The handlers at the Utilec warehouses are used to seeing the driver rosters and I'm worried the lad's gonna fold if they start asking too many questions. I know you think the medicines and stuff is important, but I don't want him to lose his job or worse because of me helping you. If you really can't wait until the usual, then you're welcome to move the stuff yourself. It's all in the basement at Daitaga as normal. 5622 will get you inside if I'm not around. My advice? Sit, wait, and don't fuck up a good thing. Yeah, this person's doing really good stuff, trying to help people out. I assume that button was a lock for the store? It's back there. What is that? Hmm. I think if I went through here, I gotta blow this up with a frag grenade. It'd be a little bit rude, but eh, it's fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. I didn't even hear it. It was totally silent. Did they hear it up here? Yeah, see, they're fine. Everything's fine. Let me just select the non-frag grenade so in case I accidentally press the grenade button again, I just throw a smoke or something. Wait, what? No. Ah. Uh, I guess I can't move it then. So it can definitely blow open vents and things like that, but I guess it doesn't move large objects. I guess this is not Prey. I remember in Prey using explosives to move large objects. Okay, uh, let's head into the sewers. Yeah, so we've already been back this way. That's where we had to go for the Neon Quest. We have not been this way. There's quite a lot here. Ooh. Where's that go? Does that skip the gas? Oh. Well, that's an easy skip for that. <laughs> I guess I didn't actually need the rebreather. Oh, whoa. Broken camera and a body. Pocket secretary, EMP grenades, a couple bio cells? They were pretty kitted out. I wonder what they were doing here. Paulina, go to the sewers beneath the poor district, tell Jacinta what I've said, and she'll show you how and where you can get in. Don't talk to anyone else about this. After dark, 8pm sharp. Do not go earlier or later than that. It's very important. Gate will open 6122. We already read this message. But I forgot... I forgot what exactly it was about. Can I fit in there? Is there an AUG to make me into like a tiny little rat? Oh, uh, the structural weakness I believe leads to... We've already been on the other side of the structural weakness wall. That's where there was the the gas and uh, looked like a, look like a scientist. But I don't think they actually were a scientist. We were their pocket secretary and they had become trapped there and like panicked, looking for help. I think we got there through... Where did we get there from? I think it was from the document forging compound. Or forgery compound. Right. 
What's... This looks like the serious place here. It's even like a security drone? Are the police in here? Let's see what's this way first. Viznik. What the hell was that? <laughs> what noise were they making right before I talked to them? <laughs> like a deflating balloon or like a cat screech. Don't tell anyone. Viznik's not supposed to be here. Shh. But I am here. I'll take your word for it. I was part of it. The, the, the hive mind. Inside the gate, I questioned what holds us together. Where? Why? Oh, this person's from the now, cult. Now this. Exiled from exile. I have been disconnected. Disconnected? Disconnected from what? I don't understand what you're saying. If there is a lack of understanding between my brains, may not always misfire like these. He did this to me. It's what it does. But I can't force you, because I'm not like him. Not like who? Who forced you? To... to... together. They succumbanize to him. Him, the, the opportunist. The savior. The rat. When I resisted, I saw, I saw, I saw, it made him fear me. You've obviously been through something. Someone's harmed you. If you can help me understand, then maybe I can help. Yes, okay. You'll be fine. I can tell. You'll, you'll, you'll understand. You'll empathize. Because what it really is, 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 he's just like us, but more. It's a cry for help. You'll pick up on that. What's a cry for help? The, the, the little mind thing. The persuasion. He's trapped by what he can do. Just like the rat. It makes so much sense now. Those most scared of what the world had become were most likely to cling to the first alternative. Now they are all in... in... in signaled. Let me see if I got this straight. Everyone beyond the gate is... in signaled to something. Like the rat. Exactly. I'm glad we understand each other. Okay, okay. Just remember, you'll only be able to confront him if he knows that you know that he knows. So... Obviously, you'll need the name. The name. I'm not supposed to give it away, but I must. I must. I must. And then you must. Yes? You're asking me to go beyond that gate, to confront someone. Someone who's harmed you, who may be harming others. I'm willing to do that, but I need to know more about what's happening. He casts them close. He brings them away. You must find out how to... To, to, to uncotangle him from the others, to resist the mentality. They need to be eased out. Figure out what holds them all together, because it's not his, his personality. When you finally see Richard for who he really is, you realize it cannot possibly be that. Richard, huh? All right. Let's go see what I've agreed to. Sounds, given what they said, it sounds almost like there's some, yeah, something more going on than just a charismatic leader, but some sort of maybe mind alteration, keeping these, these people members of the cult, keep, keeping them as followers. We've got two Praxis to spend now. I'm going to go ahead and put one point toward cybernetic arm prosthesis, which is going to allow us to punch through walls. That'll be really nice. And I thought that would take two Praxis, but it only takes one, actually. Um, and I'm a little bit tempted to take this one to lift and throw heavy objects because there are some areas that would allow us to get past but I feel like I feel like with being able to punch through walls that should be able that should allow me to get to pretty much almost any area with very few exceptions so I don't think I'm actually going to get the lift heavy objects thing I feel like that's such a super specialized application 
that my points would probably be better spent elsewhere. So I'm thinking, let's spend it on hacking. Yeah, let's get hacking capture level three. So I don't think I'm ever, I feel like I'm probably never gonna get hacking capture level four and five, unless like all the systems start being level four and five because I've been able to get a pretty decent amount of multi-tools. So I don't feel like I actually need the super high levels. But level 2 and level 3 are definitely very common, so I want to at least get level 3. Viznik could use some help. Good people, don't go upstairs. I wasn't expecting a cutscene to start. He will behave himself. He will be made to behave. Richard will know what to do. He will listen to Richard. Richard, protect us, Richard. 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 Come, Come closer. Us. Let me see you. There's nothing to be scared of. Everyone's worst impulses get checked at the door. Yours included. I hope you understand the need for it. We preach pacifism here. Alternatives to terror. Don't want animals dragging in the mud. Who are you? What, what, what is all this? This... This is what the new freedom looks like. A collaborative elaboration of the imaginative experience. <laughs> experiments of some kind. We're beyond experiments. We're establishing truths, new models of belonging and community, ones in which people can actually live. Your own little utopia. There's a man outside who... He asked, he asked me to come. He said you... A man outside. I know what it's like outside. Trapped between acts of humiliation and acts of terror. Between resolutions and registry codes. The canned laughter. The scripted dreams. It's no longer a place for people. I came because it, I thought something was... It, it's wrong. I had reason to believe something's wrong. Everything is wrong. That's why we're here. Bracketing out the terrors. If only in this one tiny corner of the world. Allow me to suggest something. A version of you. A version that strips away all suspicions, free of the sinister cells we cling to along the way. Here, you can be free of the injustices, the suffering, your own animal impulses. Finally, you can be human. Personality traits, benevolent, optimistic, pacifistic. Richard is a great man. His words are an extension of his benevolence, his presence an antidote to fear. Somehow he has created a space free from aggression, from violence, from despair. The desire to please him is overwhelming. Richard is a great man. Yeah, we're obviously under some sort of control, and I suspect they are as well. I'm not gonna indulge. Resist or challenge? So the thing is, like, alignment analysis, best results for Omega, best results for Alpha. I still don't really entirely know how to read this alignment analysis thing. I was thinking whichever one fires more often is maybe kind of their personality trait and I need to focus in on doing more of that thing, like if Omega triggered a lot than I should do an Omega action like this, but looking at it, it was all even. All three of them were going at the same time. Or not, not necessarily the same time, but the same amount. Fizzling said I had to see through you, your attempts at manipulation, to see you for what you- Some part of you applause violence. Ooh. Some part of everyone does. 
See, I know you better than you know yourself. I know you don't want to hurt anyone. That sounded like a short, like a short circuit or something. It's got to be challenged then. I may not know exactly what's going on here, but I do know that an honest man wouldn't need to hide behind a screen. Ooh. I know what you're thinking. You can't wait to be the best version of yourself. <laughs> it's literally the only option. Shit. Why do I feel like this is going to be one of those you've been jailed things? Not not literally jailed, but, you know, like, you lose yourself, you lose your equipment sort of thing, and you gotta kind of climb your way out. I don't know for a fact that you're doing anything wrong. That's because I'm not. Unless you count saving these people. We live in a world of brutality, repression, exile. The Restoration Act is the single greatest human rights violation of all time. These people deserve better than that. Most men who claim to be saviors, they... You have a skeptical personality. It's understandable. You're a product of your time. No one's forcing you to stay. You, you, you want me to leave? What business? I want you to understand. The people who choose to be here, they are good people. And with my help, they have done something miraculous. They have found a better version of themselves, of society. Promise me you won't jeopardize that. I think you're the one who's harming these people. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm not harming anyone. I know you believe. I really just have to agree with what they're saying. How am I going to get anywhere, though? I didn't come here to jeopardize these people. That's good enough. That's all I need to hear. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can... Yeah, I guess you just can't really do anything there. Now I have to find a way to confront Richard. Obviously the head-on approach is not going to work. It's really strange, though, that I was forced to confront them just by coming in the door. You are not your permit classification, are you? You are not your outdated documents. You are one of us now. We are versioning humanity. Starting to understand Viznik's fascination with Richard, the man hides behind a screen, dictating and watching over everyone. He's trying to create some kind of pacifist utopia, but the influence he has over these people, over me, isn't natural. The original six were drawn to Richard's voice. We listened. Oh. Can I, uh... I can't use my special vision. Can I take out a weapon? I can't. The old buyer is no longer a plug. There are no odds or naturals. No criminals or cowards. There is only a shared sense of need to be better than we are. Not my style, man. Can I still hack? Where are you? Jan told me what happened. You lost all our money trying to buy those fake permits. You said you were ashamed, that you could no longer face me after being taken in by those horrible scam artists. But you have no reason to be ashamed. You were so much better than the rest of the world. You're vulnerable and gullible, yes, but I love you for it. I must be one of the people here. You are not your freedom from that thoughts. thoughts. You are not your outdated document. You, not you are one of us now. We are versioning humanity. It's gotta be like some electronic thing I can turn off or find a way to a server room or... Can I still jump high? I think like everything 
any of my special abilities are disabled. I can't even seem to jump high. Oh wait, no, no, I can't. Oh shit. You don't belong here. You need to leave. I didn't permanently piss them off, did I? I didn't realize that was a restricted zone. There are places we must not go. There are places we must not go. Any place that can jeopardize them. And you ask yourself, what am I? You don't belong here. You need to leave. Okay. Those are turrets. I believe this one seems to be a camera, but the other ones look like turrets. Oh, yeah, somebody's trying to shoot me, but... Oh, I can at least use this. Not my weapons, though? No, can't use my weapons, but I can use a multi-tool. Oh! It looks like that's another reason people can't leave the area. You're only... You're only under their influence when you're in that area. Now I have all my abilities again. Yeah. Now I'm under their influence again. Now I'm not. One among you is armed to the teeth. Is a tree of thorns. But not even he can act upon his base impulses. Here, deep down... That's them. That's gotta be them. No doubt many viewers were horrified by that story I brought to you last week, in which a suicide gunman ruthlessly attacked a small office. Gotcha. Today, I'm here to bring you a glimmer of hope. European-based construction giant, the Santo Group has successfully convinced the Tanzanian government to become a signatory <laughs> Alright, turn off the system. Designed to promote the creation of <laughs> yeah, look at this. Complexes, where oppressed groups can live in Little mind control studio. This international civil engineering and action plan. Is slated to be publicly unveiled at one of Brown's upcoming safe harbor Turret domination. Oh, this... Oh, that only record... Uh, changes the turrets. I should probably get that. That should probably be the next thing I get. It's only one praxis point and is super important for someone like me. Oh, breaker. I should do it. Alright. System off. So, is that the end of the quest? Yeah, looks like it. I still want to speak with, uh, what was it, Viznik outside, though, and see how the people down below are doing now that it's been turned off. It's got to be a rude awakening. Top 10 tech, abandoned technologies. Number 6, the Community Initiative. No project was more scrutinized in the wake of recent global catastrophes than the Community Initiative. This advanced development in social augmentation technology was designed to create new kinds of shared spaces and communal experiences through area of effect social enhancement technology. That must be what Richard's been using. Early implementation in venues such as theaters and community centers proved underwhelming, though a handful of innovative entertainers did find clever ways of amplifying the experience by handpicking their audience. A quick pre-show personality test could determine if they were more or less likely to submit to whatever shared fiction was being proposed. In today's post-incident world, the thought of this kind of initiative pushing into theaters across the continent is a thing of the distant past. The consequences are too terrifying. However, for a few months back in the summer of 2025, the community initiative was praised as the best kind of new technology, the kind that promised to bring us all closer together. This makes it sound not terribly effective, unless you super select for who you're using it on, but it seems actually 
really effective. I mean, okay, we could say that they pre-selected every single person that's a member of the church, but what about me? Like, it seemed pretty damn effective against me. It didn't stop me from coming up here, but it stopped me from taking out my weapons, from... from talking back, basically, disagreeing with Richard. Come here, you little shit. Yeah, I'm not so sure that they... I'm, like, pretty certain that they were in on it. I, I don't think they were being manipulated. It seems pretty clearly that they were just the manipulator. But I don't exactly know how the technology works, so I could be wrong. Battle rifle's definitely worth more. Oh, <laughs> could I turn it back on? <laughs> Remind control, everybody. Oh. Right, security. Ah, oh, shit, the security systems are still on. Ah, oh, damn. I know I can blow the security, or the, the turrets up, but it would take a lot of ammo. Um... I guess I just can't go that way. Do I want to shoot this camera? Nah, I don't care, it's fine. Oh. Oh, 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 a turret comes out of that thing. Right. Uh, I, well, I guess I can't look this way, so... I think we're good. I feel so... hollow now. Okay, Lerm's being reset. Everybody should be fine in just a second, I think. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, we're good. I, I cannot hear his voice in my head anymore. So that's why it says good people don't go upstairs. Trying to convince people not to mess with the man behind the curtain. He can be very convincing if you let him, even if you don't. I know it wasn't easy seeing her taken like that, but we can't just run away and hide from what's happening. There's no pretending the world away. We have to face these things together. Please. You've never been away for this long before. I'm worried about you. Oh, so yeah, I guess these people were specifically selected for how easily they could be controlled. Given this and the other pocket secretary we found, the other person was, uh, they felt extremely guilty for spending all the money on the, the fake permit stuff, the forgeries. It wasn't easy seeing her taken away like that. Can't just run away and hide from what's happening. So I don't know if this person felt guilty, but definitely under a lot of emotional stress. Look, they were, you know, they were looking for somebody. And they found him. Charismatic followers for a charismatic leader. And mind control deck. And this is a toilet. It's literally a toilet seat. On, like, chair legs over a bucket. Really living it up down here. Voice. It's different right now. Okay, I think we're done with this place. The Richard can no longer persuade anyone of anything. The others are free of him now, just like you are. I'm not a model of separation. I questioned him and then I... I'm not one of them anymore, but I'm not, not one of them. You were right to question him. The fact that you were able to at all when others couldn't says a lot about your strength of character. I, 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 I became I again. Temporary signal failure led them to perceive me as a threat. I started thinking differently. I realized how, how... How there's... there's two eyes in Viznik. That's when I figured it all out. It's a good thing you did. God knows how far this might have gone if Richard had been left unchecked. 
How many others might have come and been persuaded to stay? We came to him because... Because we didn't fit the so... So social schematic. Hounded by laws. Hated by revolutions. He offered a way out. But there is no way out. Exile from exile is exile. You're out now, Viznik. There should be nothing more drawing you to this place. To him. You can go anywhere you want. You can do anything you want. I want to be... I want to be... I am alone. I want to be... I want to be... I am alone. I hope they're just still suffering temporary after effects from a mind control and not permanent brain damage of some sort. Do I have the password for this by any chance? I do. 6122. Oh, this is related to like smuggling people out, right? That uh, the pocket secretary you found from the person inside of that chamber with the gas in it? Just back there? Because I remember mentioning something about knowing the exact schedule of like the sentry bots and stuff, and, and yep, there's a sentry bot. Whoa. What was it shooting? There must be somebody in there. I just noticed though, this isn't a restricted zone. Does that mean I can just walk freely? Um. Hmm. I should probably save him, huh? Um. I can't trank it. I probably couldn't EMP. Well, EMP grenade could work. Uh. I don't even know if that reached. If it did, it didn't do anything. Should I use the battle rifle? Do I have any ammo for it? I'm not sure. Frag grenade won't explode in the air. EMP grenade, I mean, it's in the air. Um. Let's try this. I'm gonna save first, though. How are we doing on ammo? All right, we got some shots. We got 10. Wait, warranty. Oh, wait, what's that? An oh, there's another one in there, isn't there? Well, it doesn't say anyone's panic any panicking anymore, but this one definitely st is still panicking. But yeah, it looks like the bot just backed up trolling. Alright. Whoa. It's not shooting at me, is it? It's shooting at something else. Someone else. Alright, we gotta find out what's going on. Oh. There's three of them. What are they shooting at, though, and why isn't it dead already? I wonder if I need to save somebody. That's what I suspect. Ah, oh, crap. Hmm. I could just jump up there. Let's see where the other way goes, though. Oh, yeah, this is much better. Yeah, they're shooting at that person. Okay, I guess they're, like, totally immune there. Um... Okay, let's try, uh, let's try an EMP. I don't know how wide the effect is. Does it actually say anything about that? Specialized anti-systems explosive capable of generating a localized electromagnetic field pulse that renders nearby electronic circuitry inoperative. Security cameras, automated defense turrets... Um, just says, disrupts everything in range, however long that is. Okay, well I guess I'll just throw it at the bottom here and hope it reaches. 
Okay, got one of them. Oh wait, it's gonna reactivate, isn't it? Yeah, shit, it is. Um, hmm. I'm really not equipped to deal with robots. I have a frag grenade. I doubt I'm gonna get all three of them, though. Shit. Tell you what, how about this? Oh, Christ. Oh, no, they all died. They weren't totally safe here. Also, I'm not safe here. Okay, I just loaded a save game from before I even went into the area. I think I'm gonna have to wait till I'm better equipped or have better augments to deal with four security bots, because I have no idea what to do. I need like a rocket launcher or something. Let's see if we can make a creative exit out of this place now that I can punch through walls. Yeah, we're in the toy store. Yeah, it is from the Document Forgery place. You're dead? Take a look around. <laughs> they really don't find it suspicious that I just jumped over the, the roof, because as soon as they saw me, I was out of the restricted zone. So they're like, oh, well, nothing to worry about. Check out this. I didn't do it. Anyway, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, this time I am going to head to the other district and see what side quests there are to do here.